Hello, beloved. It really matters which message that you allow into your spirit. It really matters who ministers to you. But unfortunately, so many who are so focused on the wrong thing. It's very important for us to stick to the word of God and act on the word. Let's look at John chapter 10, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. Very popular passage. But you see how people have been so misdirected and misled. It says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus now said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The problem with this verse with so many people is that they are focused on the first part. The thief cometh not for to kill, steal and destroy. So they focus on Satan. That's why some, some, some messages that you'll be hearing or some minister will just focus on Satan. Devil, 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 enemy, 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 enemy. Look at the blessedness of the part B of this John chapter 10. Jesus said, I have come that they might have life. Jesus has come to give you life. And the word life that was translated to English is Zoe. It means eternal life, the God type of life. And it now says that they might have it more abundantly. God wants you to have more abundantly blessed life but people are so focused on the devil the enemy the devil the enemy so they miss out on the other part let me quickly read amplified bible on john chapter 10 verse 10 it said the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy jesus now said i came that they may have life and have it ab in abundance to the full till it overflows that is one of the primary goals of jesus coming and that's why you must focus on jesus and the doctrine of jesus more and when you do that you are going to manifest the blessings of God in your life more than ever. You know, many, 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 many years ago, before I, I, I began to walk in the truth of the light, I was carried away with all those doctrines of devil, de enemies, devil, enemies, deliverance, deliverance. But when you focus on Jesus, look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. My God. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through love, that you might be partaker of the divine nature. When you focus on Jesus and his doctrine, instead of devils, demons, and enemies, you are going to manifest this blessing, that you are a partaker of the divine nature. That means divinity is at home in humanity. So focus on Jesus. Focus on the doctrine of Christ. The enemies has no place as long as you are a believer. So focus more on Jesus and the doctrine of Christ than the devils, demons, or so that you will enjoy the fullness of God. If you don't know God today, if you don't know Jesus, come to Jesus, get saved, be immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost, and you become the partaker of the divine nature. Divinity is at home in you. Oh 